Welcome to this lesson on writing equations given points. So we can write the equation of a line if we are given the slope and a point that's on the line, or if we are given two points that's on the line. So we know a line is made up of infinitely many points. So we either need the slope in one point or two points from the same line. So let's go over how to write the equation when we're given the slope and a point. Step one, substitute the slope for m and the point for x and y into y equals mx plus b. And by point, of course, I mean an ordered pair. Then we're going to solve for the y-intercept, which is our b. Then we'll use the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation. All right, so here's an example. Write the equation of a line that passes through 4, 0, and has a slope of 2. So here is my ordered pair, 4, 0. I'm going to substitute that in for x and y. And then my slope is 2. So I'm going to write y equals mx plus b. I'm going to substitute 0 in for y because that's what I see right here. 2 for my slope of m, 4 for x, and I'm going to leave b because we are going to solve for b. So the first step would be to multiply 2 times 4, so 8, and then I'll subtract 8 from both sides. So 0 minus 8 is negative 8, and that's my b. So I'm not done, that's not my answer, because the question says to write the equation of the line. So the equation would be y equals, my slope is 2, so 2x minus 8. When you have an equation, you always want to make sure you have that x and the y, because this point here is just one point along that line, but there are infinitely many points. So we leave the x and the y as x and y, so that it can represent any point on that line. All right, let's try a few more. So this is my slope m. This is my ordered pair x and y. So negative 1, 3, and 0. I'm just substituting in m, x, and y into my equation plus b. Next, I'll multiply 3 times 0, which is 0. And 0 plus b, that's just b. So negative 1 equals b. So my final answer is y equals my slope is 3, x minus 1. All right. Same thing. That's my m. Here's my x and my y. So 6 equals 1 half 5 plus b. 6 equals, let's see, half of 5, that would be 2.5. And then I'll subtract 2.5 from both sides. 6 minus 2.5, that's 3.5 equals b. So my final answer, y equals, my slope is 1 half. Then I'll write my x plus 3.5. And of course, you can write that as a fraction as well, but with y-intercepts, it's usually easier if they are decimals, because it's easier to graph 3.5 instead of 7 over 2. All right, pause the video now and try 3 and 4 by yourself. Okay, let's see how you did. All right, so negative 7 equals negative 4 times 2 plus b. So I substituted in my three values. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Then I'll add 8 to both sides. So that would be 1 equals b. So my final answer is y equals negative 4x plus 1. Then number 4. Alright, now this one 
If I multiply those together and change it to a decimal, it's going to be a repeating decimal. So instead of doing that, I'm going to leave it as a fraction until I get to the end. So this would be negative 4 thirds. And then I can add 4 thirds. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to elementary school with adding fractions here. So 1 plus 4 thirds. Well, 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3 plus 4 over 3. So that gives me 7 over 3. So 7 over 3 equals B. So my final answer is Y equals 1 third X plus 7 thirds, or you can change that to a decimal. For graphing purposes, it is going to be a repeating decimal, 2.3 repeating. That's fine. Either way, how you want to write it is fine. All right, let's continue on. So let's go over the steps for writing the equation of a line given two points. So the first thing we'll do, step one, is to find the slope using the slope formula, which we went over in the last lesson. Then we'll find the y-intercept, our b, by substituting the slope and one of the points that we are given into y equals mx plus b. Then we'll use the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation. So this one has a little bit um, more steps, so I'm going to list them out. Step one, let's find the slope, so I'm going to label my points, my ordered pairs. So negative 3 minus 3, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, 4 minus 5. So let's see, negative 3 minus 3, that's negative 6. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Negative 6 divided by negative 1 is 6. So this is my slope. All right, next, I'm going to find the y-intercept by substituting that slope, 6, and one of the points into y equals mx plus b. It does not matter which point you use. You'll get the same answer regardless. So uh, I'm just going to use the first point. So I'm going to change or substitute 3 for my y. I'm using this point here. I already know my slope is 6. That's what we just saw for 5 for my x plus b. So 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract 30 from both sides. 3 minus 30, that's a negative 27. Okay, so that's my y-intercept. And then finally, I'm going to take the answer I got from number 1 and the answer I got from number 2 to write my equation. So y equals 6x minus 27. That's my final answer. Okay, so let's try some more of those. So number one, step one, find your slope, subtract the y's in the numerator, subtract the x's in the denominator. So that would be negative nine over negative four or just nine fourths. Next, I'm going to substitute into y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use the second one here because I see that zero, so I know it's going to get rid of this fraction for me. So zero times nine fourths is zero, so negative three is my b. And then finally, I'm just going to write the equation y equals nine fourths x minus three. All right, I'll do one more with you. So number two, oops. This is number two, but we're on step one. Let's find the slope. So three minus one, nine minus two. That gives me two sevenths. All right, then let's substitute in. Let's see, I'll stick with the first one. Times two plus B. All right, so this is going to be, let's see, 1 equals over 1, 4 sevenths plus b. And then I'm going to subtract 4 sevenths from both sides. So I'm going to come up here and do my fraction. So 1 is the same thing as 7 over 7 minus 4 over 7. That would be 3 over 7. So that means my b is 3 sevenths. So my final answer is 
y equals 2 sevenths x plus 3 sevenths. Lots of fractions there. Okay, pause the video and try the last two by yourself. All right, let's see how we did. Number three. So my slope on number three should be 13 over 12. Substitute that in. I'm gonna use the second point here. Again, it doesn't matter which point you use, your work is gonna look different than mine if you use the first point, but the answer is still the same. Okay, so over one, that's gonna be 130 over 12. I may have chose the wrong point here because I have that huge fraction. Let's see, I'm going to change that to a decimal here. So I have 10.83 repeating. And then I'm going to subtract that. And in your calculator, you can just leave that repeating decimal to give you the most accurate answer. So I'm doing 8 minus the answer on my calculator, which gives me negative 2.83 repeating. So my final answer is y equals 13 twelfths x minus 2.83 repeating. And if you happen to leave that as a fraction, I'll put that one too, 17 over 6. Either way, both of those are correct. All right, last one. This one isn't quite as ugly. So let's see, my slope, negative 6 over negative 3, so that's 2. I'm going to use the first point here. So 0 equals 2 plus b. Subtract 2, so b is negative 2. So my final answer, number 3, y equals 2x minus 2. All right, you can stop the video now and complete the practice.